too. Um, I got lots to show. Um, so let's get into it real quick. Uh, before I start babbling about what I didn't get. So here it goes. Um, yard sales. I went to one where a guy had some video games and he had a, a Game Boy SP. It was a blue one. Um, I don't know what game he had inside of it. But then I found uh, like a Namco Museum one. And then so I asked him how much he wanted and he was like 50 bucks. And I was like, nah. So he was like, I got more sealed games in the back. And I said, sealed games? I said, you want $50 for everything? And he was like, yeah, let me just put it all together and blah, blah, blah. And I said, all right, well, put it together. I'll buy it. And um, he was like, no, just come back, um, you know, come back tomorrow. I'll have it ready, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right. So I came back the next day. Same thing. I was like, what's up? Where's the game's at? Oh, no, no, no. You know, I haven't even played it with it yet. And I'm like, what? Well, you want to sell it, not play with it. So anyways, he didn't fucking, he didn't want to sell anything. Like he, not only me, but another guy was trying to buy something else. And he was like, oh, no, no, no. Um, you could just give me your phone number and I'll sell it to you later and blah, blah, blah. blah whatever, dude. All right. So anyways, while I was there, I found, um, I found something else. And um, so I asked him how much he wanted for these. And he said five bucks for both. So a personalized Pete Rose autograph. It says Aaron and Liz, which, whatever, but it's a Pete Rose autograph, um, and a Stan Musial aut autograph, ball. Uh, none of them have any search, there's no stickers or anything that shows that they are authentic, so, um, whatever, but they were five bucks for both, so I couldn't pass that up. Um, other than that, he didn't want to sell me anything else. I don't know why, but whatever. So that was Thursday, Friday. Saturday, um, I went yard so crazy. And I went to where I bought this, um, my GameCube, my purple GameCube. And I bought it for what? I say 25, I think I bought it for, or 20 or 30 or whatever it was. So anyways, I went back there. That purple one that's back there. Anyway, I went back there, and the lady that was there, she was like, oh, yeah. I was like, hey. She, re she remembered me. She's like, hey, you buy the old video games, huh? And I said, yeah, that's me. And so she goes, you know what? We have a Game Boy. And I said, a Game Boy? I said, yeah, I'm interested. And she was like, yeah, it's like a few games and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, well, where's that? Let me see it. And she was like, she asked her sister, and they couldn't find it. She's like, you know what? I think we sold it. And I was like, great. But she was like, I was like, look, can I just leave my phone number? And if it pops up, you guys can give me a call. And she was like, yeah, all right. Like, you know, whatever. So I was like, all right, cool. Sure enough, I get home. Ten minutes later, hey, we found the Game Boy. I was like, cool, sweet. Let me go. I'll go. So I got this for ten bucks. Turns on. There's no game in it, so. You get that, but it turns on, there goes the red light, put batteries in it, works. The inside's clean, you know. Um, got the cap and everything. Everything works, I was playing. It came with the four games, like she, well, like the game she said, it came with four. Pokemon, I mean Pac-Man, Pokemon, stupid. Pac-Man, Tetris, baseball, and golf. All four, I played all four, all four of them work. Ten bucks for everything. Not a bad deal. Thing works super clean. Um, so that was early in the morning. Um, and then I guess I wanna say Saturday, the last, my last stop before I, before I came home, before these people called me, uh, my last stop was um, right around the corner from my house. Um, actually, like, right around the corner and a block over. And so um, 
I was there. I didn't really have much, but I figured I'd stop and ask anyway. And so I asked, and so um, the guy was like, yeah, you know what? We do have some games. And he's like, it's in the back. Let me go check. Came back and didn't find anything. And his kids, his kids were determined to find stuff. So they came back with like a broken Xbox game. And he was like, you want to buy it? And I said, well, yeah, let me see it. And when I opened it up, it was broken. So I didn't buy it. But the the older kid, he came out. He came out with a trash can, which I don't know where it's at right now. But he came out with a trash can. And so I started going through it. Right? And so the guy was like, how much? And his little kid said, $2. And I said, two dollars for the whole thing? And he was like, yeah. And the dad smacked him in the face. Pow. And I was like, oh shit. And he was like, you don't give prices. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, I like his deal. <laughs> so anyways, whatever. And so the guy was like, well, he goes, this is how you do it. How much do you want to offer me? And I was like, well, two bucks now. And he was like, no, no, no. Come on, be real, blah, blah. And so I was like, you know, I don't even know what's in the, box, in the trash can. Uh, let me take a look. We'll see what we got, and then I'll give you price. And so he was like, all right, cool. So he dumps everything out, and this is what comes out. We got Superman, Breakout, Star Master, Popeye, Donkey Kong, uh, Demons of Diamonds, Venture, Brainstorming, Um, Missile Command, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Combat, Mousetrap, Basketball, Oink, I, oh, Oink, yeah, Oink, <laughs> Oink, Human Cannonball, uh, Berserk, Pac-Man, Kangaroo, Asteroids, Hangman, and football. And I was like, whoa, I saw all of those and I was like, all right, that's cool, right? And then inside, there were still more games. And so inside, there were more games, there were these. Killer Instinct was in there. Uh, Metal Combat was in there. And Saturday Night Slam Masters were in there. And there were these. <laughs> what is this? Um... Uh, Mario Duck Hunt and Total Recall were in there, and they're both clean, both good labels. For the for it being in a trash can, a little plastic trash can, pretty clean, not bad. Same thing with the Mario, pretty cool. And they had another Goonies. I already had Goonies, but they had one inside there as well. Goonies Part Two, and that one had a super clean label, which is cleaner than the one I had. So, keeping that one for sure. I'm gonna get rid of the other one. So, yeah, super cool. So, I got, what was that? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen, nineteen 19 Atari games, three, 60, uh, three Super Nintendo games, and three Nintendo games for. Um, I offered him 15 bucks and he took it. And so. That was it. Um, so 15 plus the 10, 25 bucks total for the weekend. Not bad for what I got. Real cool. Where are we at? Nine minutes? All right. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I think that was it. So I'll keep you guys posted on what else I get. Shit look promising, as it always does. All right, cool, guys. Well, that's it.